just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left of the guy. I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect while uh, leaving Christians like, you know, myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, just going to do a video showing just the blatant hypocrisy of Ryan Dunlinger regarding news reporting ministries, so-called news ministries. And by the way, too, the whole thing of a news reporting ministry is nothing more than just focusing on the things of this lost uh, present evil world instead of focusing on things above. Okay, it's just that simple. A news reporting ministry, there's no basis in scripture for that. I know that JT tried to say that, oh, I'm a watchman. Oh, uh, there's no, watchman is not a New Testament office. It was back under the Old Testament. It had nothing to do with, with a New Testament Christian today. But like I said, we're supposed to be focusing on the things above, not the uh, things of earth. Talks about that in Colossians uh, chapter, I believe it's Colossians chapter uh, th uh, 3 verses 1 to 2 mentions that. So that's the whole thing. But Brian Dillinger actually condemns newest ministries in this clip I'm going to show. Okay. So he rightfully says that it's nothing more than just Nicolaitans, you know, writing all the latest news. He says it's what false prophets do. Okay. Check this out. But uh, this guy... What he does, typical of a false prophet, they will ride the news. Okay, what I mean by that is all the latest news stories, they just come out. And, you know, some of that's okay as a Christian, but just spending all your time just, you know, video after video after video after video, you know, multiple videos every single day, you know, just all the time. This is what you call an Athenian. Acts chapter 17, verse 21 for all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. You see it there? And what does Paul say? 17 verse 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. Okay, Paul did not commend them for keeping up with all the latest and what's what's the latest and what's the latest. You know, I mean, this is all just a bunch of junk, is what it is. Amen to that. I agree with him on that. You know, when you're just writing, I mean, there's nothing wrong with just occasionally, you know, reporting on news, but when you're just writing on all the latest news and just what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, you know, it's Nicola, it's 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 uh, worldliness, it's carnality. You know, you're focusing on the things of this present evil world instead of focusing on things above, like it's commanded in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. So I agree with Brian on that, you know, but he flat out contradicts himself as he promotes JT's website, who is supposedly a news reporting ministry, you know? And you go on JT's website, it's all the latest news, all the latest controversies in the news and everything else. So he condemns it, but then he promotes a news ministry. Hypocrisy. Check this out. I'd like to recommend a website to you out there if you are a King James Bible believing Christian. It's this one right here, The Wine Press, Real Christian News. Um, it's a really good website if you want to know some of the latest news and whatever else um, a lot of great articles that are on here very interesting things yeah just yet another example of brian dillinger contradicting his previous stances so uh he condemns news ministries and those who write on all the latest news but then he recommends a so-called ministry that does exactly that uh that's all that's called hypocrisy okay hypocrisy is an attribute of a pharisee you can read about that in luke chapter 12 verse 1 and matthew chapter 23 verses 13 down to verse 33. brian dillinger sadly is a modern day pharisee he's full of all kinds of hypocrisy this is just one example of that so don't be deceived uh don't be deceived by this cult that he runs may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye